Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And I hate to say it, but I was right. What am I kidding? Of course I hate to say it. I love saying it. You read it here first, folks. We were right. I have said all along that should, on the very, very unlikely uh, opportunity of Scotland becoming independent and then joining the EU, that there would absolutely, positively have to be a hard border between Scotland and England. There's no way around it. It's EU rules. The only reason there isn't one in Ireland is because of pre-existing legislation, such as the Good Friday Agreement. There is no GFA with Scotland, so up goes the border. Passport control, visas, uh, all sorts of trade barriers, things have to be inspected, all the excess paperwork. All those things that would make selling into England very, very expensive for Scottish companies. But also, of course, if they want to sell to the continent, the easiest way is to drive through England to Dover and across. Well, that will no longer happen, of course, because you can't just come and bring your goods through England, not without paying a little tariff. So all of a sudden, stuff becomes very, very expensive and the Scottish economy crashes and burns, just like we said it would. They always maintain, oh no, we can have a full and open border with England, blah, blah, blah. Rubbish. We always said, no, you can't. And now, even Angus Robertson has had to come out and admit it. Here goes. Now, you didn't need to be a genius to work this out. All you have to do is look at every other border the EU has got with countries that aren't in the EU. Hard border, trade control, barriers, passports. It's very easy to see the direction of travel. There would be no reason whatsoever why the EU would let Scotland have a free pass just to travel straight through England quite easily and trade into England. Oh, no, no, no. That's not how it works. And we've known this all along and we've been saying this all along. And yet the, the, the SNP have always been saying, no, no, we will still maintain our historic open links with England. No, you won't, because you're giving up all rights to, detect, to, to decide your own um, rules. The moment you join the EU, you're subjected to the rules of an unelected assembly over which you have zero say. But good luck. Anyway, the, the SNP admits the trade border with the UK in event of Skexit, as they say, it will take five years to join the EU. In their dreams, 15, 20, 25 years, maybe. They can't pass muster. They need all the financial things alone will take them five to ten years. Never mind getting the uh, the, the economy up to a level where it, it meets the, uh, the the various deficit levels and things like that. It's twenty years minimum. Anyway, Scottish Government Con Constitution Secretary Angus Robertson launched a new paper on Friday at great cost again, but critics claim there are still unanswered questions about an independent Scotland joining the EU. One of them being, will the EU have them? To which the answer, of course, would be no. The SNP has been forced to admit there will be border checks between an independent Scotland in the EU and the rest of the UK. And ministers also confirmed it could take five years for the country to even join the trading bloc, assuming that that will ever happen. It will never happen. They're never going to join. Uh, these new revelations, which were confirmed in the latest taxpayer-funded Skexit prospectus, uh, blows massive holes in the nationalist hopes for a smooth transition if ever they achieve their dream of breaking up the, e the UK because their dream is to move out of the United Kingdom where they have a massive say and a lot of sway and are backed up by Britain you know pumping money in and having the free trade into the rest of Britain into going it alone being their own little country basically handing all power over to the EU so they can't uh, they can't control their own economy they can't control their own currency anything like that. They have zero powers. They do as they're told. They have no influence in the EU. They can't generate any legislation. They can only basically adopt what's been what they're told to do. And they'll be screwing up the relationship with their biggest trading partner, England. But hey, you don't need to be a genius to see how that's going to work out. Even SNP supporters know that, which is why 60% of them don't want to join uh, the latest paper also confirms that Scotland would commit to installing the euro as a currency, but will try to never actually do so, instead using sterling and then bringing in its own currency as soon as practicable. 
it can't use sterling. It's not allowed. To join the EU, you are allowed for a transition period to use your own currency or to adopt the euro. You are specifically not allowed to use a third party currency. So Scotland would have to set up the Scottish pound before it goes into the EU. Isn't going to happen. Haven't got the resources, haven't got the manpower, haven't got the economy, haven't got anything. They can't do it. They literally can't do it. Because if they're outside the EU, don't have the trading relationship with them, they have to trade freely on the market. If they want to join the EU, they've got to have their own currency. They're not allowed to use sterling, non-EU currency. Therefore, before going in, they have to have their own Scottish pound. And I don't mean the Scottish version of the sterling. I mean the Scottish pound, you know, 15 haggis to a to a pound or whatever they're going to put it down to. And so well, well, it'll be it'll be seven drams to a haggis, 13 haggis to a pound. Let's keep it all in prime numbers. Makes it easy. Yeah. Anyway, you'll have this foreign currency as far as England's concerned. It will immediately devalue. So you come in on day one, you go up oh, a Scottish pound worth the same as sterling. Bang. And within a day, it will be worth half of what sterling is. The markets will just reject it and its value will plummet. Then all of a sudden, buying anything in Scotland, through the roof. The only way you can deal with it is to revalue everything in Scottish pounds. It destroys the economy. Anyway, a new online platform will be introduced by the Scottish government to add to the, to the bureaucracy, which does not exist right now, called a single trade window. Ministers expect traders to submit documents in advance, resulting in fewer and faster checks at the border. But still checks nonetheless, rather than just filling up your wagon and going straight down uh, the A74. Uh, it's just it's it's just ridiculously stupid, isn't it? Uh, checks on goods being transported cross-border will need to take place in shops or at other destinations. And this will include food sampling to protect human health or customs and excise checks on alcohol to ensure that correct duties have been paid and that products are genuine. Uh, and there's all sorts of things. It's everything. It's every single thing that comes across the border has to be checked. There is no exception. Uh, they also want to minimise routine physical checks on goods using main routes between England and Scotland. Uh, AMPR, for example, and cameras to monitor for non-compliance could be deployed. Under whose authority? Uh, because we don't need to. England doesn't need to do this. England can just put a slab of hard border at the top and say, no, no, hard border. We you're assuming, you're assuming that England is going to play ball and say soft checks. England has under no obligation to do that. England could sit there and go, no, no, you wanted it, you have it. Bang, hard border. Passport control. You can't come into England without a passport. You can't come into England without a prepaid visa, for example. A uh, driver coming down, right, want to see all your paperwork, boom, 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 it's got to be filled in in the correct manner, this, that, and the other, no, I just rejected at the gate, not filled in properly. There's no reason, there's no reason why you would expect England to play ball. After all, you're trying to sell into England. These people are stupid. The SNP are stupid. The SNP make assumptions, but that is all they are. There's no agreements. There's no understanding. Why would, for example, a pre-EU Scotland have any rights to do anything in England. England has an agreement with the EU, but it doesn't have an agreement with Scotland. Do you see the problem here? But the SNP just assume that England will roll over and, you know, do exactly what they say. England's got no obligation to do anything. It could just go bang, no, our border across. Can't come in. We don't know who you are coming in. And of course, all the other things that are coming out of Scotland, like the big tax office at Cumbernauld and that, all those people made unemployed. Who's going to be paying their dole? It's a joke, isn't it? The SNP, they are absolutely morons. And I've been saying from day one, hard border has got to happen. And they've never acknowledged it until now. And of course, the moment you get that hard border, it's the end of Scotland. Absolutely the end of Scotland. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much. Oh, the other thing, of course, one other thing is the moment you join the EU, bang, every fisherman in, in Europe will be up in Scottish waters. Imagine those great big Spanish trawlers hoovering every fish out of the sea.
the end of the Scottish fishing industry as well, isn't it? Good luck. Anyway, I'm going to come up and we'll frown off. Now, of course, the truth is we can laugh at all this. We can point out how stupid they are and all that. But we're quite safe in the knowledge that it will never, ever happen. Firstly, the people of Scotland, you're not stupid enough to actually vote for independence. Secondly, even if you did, you're not getting in the EU. There's too many type people out there who don't want Scotland to succeed as an independent nation having left the United Kingdom because they have vested interests in themselves, not splitting their countries up and showing what success can be. So it just isn't going to happen. And ultimately, the reality is that there's no reason why an independent Scotland would have any rights to do anything in England. You can't make that assumption. And yet the SNP are. But we all know that it just isn't going to happen anyway, which is just fine. But they are showing themselves up again to be absolutely moronic. Anyway, it's getting a Friday afternoon. I've only got one more, I think, to do, unless there's some major breaking news. Hopefully the resignation of Matheson, but we shall wait and see. Uh, but I do have one more to do, um, probably. Uh, so anyway, we're moving in. So I'll leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. Do take keep an eye out for the next one. Um, there's a little bit of humour in it because I know exactly one of the things I want to say, but it is a um, nice way, I think, to round off the week. Anyway, until then, stay safe, stay well. Do please subscribe. They are playing silly buggers. And goodbye.